we're going to be selecting option two here. Now looking at the next part, our cut source, we're going to be setting here for use gear shift force channel. That's going to be what we see here and what we're measuring. So I'm going to be setting this to four. Minimum RPM. Now this is going to be varying per application. But my general rule of thumb here is if I'm revving my end into something like 10,000 or 11,000 RPM, if I'm revving it really, really high, I'm going to be setting my RPM threshold here to something like 85 or 9,000. And that's going to make sure that when I pull my shifter I'm pretty much at red line when I want to shift, it's going to be blocking it out from kicking in at lower RPM. And this is going to be really important. So I'm going to set this at something like 85 right now. My minimum throttle, I'm going to be definitely setting this at something high, such as 90. I don't want it going and cutting at anything less. So it has to meet these two thresholds. And it's also going to go here and have to meet my gear cut force low, my high, and my hysteresis. So my low is going to be when I pull the shifter towards me, the highest amount of force before I want it to actually cut. So this is going to be the minimum force that we see in the shifter. So right now, I'm not touching my shifter. If I pull it towards me, we can see that it's changing the amount of force. So if I pull it towards me, we can see it can go really, really high in the reading. If I pull it a little bit softer, we're going to be finding it changes a little bit. The best way to set this up is to uh, go in and simply turn on the gear shift force, make a pass down the track. What you want to see is, um, or what you want to pay attention to in a data log is your gear shift force that the driver is used to holding the shift knob or holding the gear lever when they're driving. You're going to be noticing, you're going to be seeing a lot of this. You're going to be seeing a lot of jittery force in the shifter from a driver and we need to ignore that. We want to make sure that where we set our point here for our low and our high for the cut to occur is going to be above the levels wherever a driver is going to have his hand resting on the shifter. If he has his hand resting on the shifter, it's going to kick in our gear change ignition cut. It could start to cut going down the track and we don't want that to occur. We want to make sure that we're having valid shift force when we want to pull for a shift. So in this situation, if I'm looking, when I'm pulling it towards me, I'm seeing when I pull it pretty hard, it looks like about 50 would be an ideal point here. This is going to be changing for your application. It's all going to be different. We can see also when I go and push it away, right around 50 would be a nice point. If I push it real hard, you can see right around 50. So what I'll do here, my low I'll set to negative 50, my high here 50. So if I go lower than 50 pounds of force or higher than 50 pounds of force, that's going to signify that I'm pulling hard enough that I want this gear change ignition cut to occur and I 